If you learn only one thing from this video, it is this. You should start taking prenatal vitamins well before you become pregnant. Why? Are there certain ingredients that prenatal vitamins should have? Yes. Are there ingredients it shouldn't have? Absolutely. Should you watch the rest of this video before you purchase prenatal vitamins? Definitely. Stay tuned. What are prenatal vitamins? Prenatal vitamins are simply multivitamins that have had the ingredients adjusted to meet the needs of a pregnant woman. Does this mean that you could take a multivitamin even if it is not specifically labeled as a prenatal vitamin? For sure. As long as it has the right ingredients and the right amounts, it does not matter at all whether it says prenatal on the label. One of the main reasons you should start taking prenatal vitamins before you conceive is that in some circumstances it may actually actually help you to become pregnant. For example, women who take iron supplements are less likely to have ovulation problems. Folic acid supplementation has been shown to improve fertility and lower the risk for miscarriage. The same for vitamin D. I did a deep dive on that topic in this video. Another important reason to take prenatal vitamins is that it will help reduce the risk of certain types of birth defects. For example, taking folic acid before and during pregnancy will decrease the chance that your baby Baby will have a problem involving the brain or spinal cord called a neural tube defect. One common type of neural tube defect that you might have heard of is called spina bifida. The American College of Obstetrics and Gynecology, or ACOG, recommends that women attempting pregnancy should take at least 400 micrograms of folic acid a day starting one month before pregnancy and continuing through the 12th week of pregnancy. Most prenatal vitamins will have 800 or 1,000 micrograms of folic acid. Check the label to be sure. One note, if you've had a baby with a neural tube defect previously, you will need a higher prescription dose of folic acid. Another nutrient to look for in your prenatal vitamins is called choline. Like folic acid, choline is essential for the growth and development of the fetal brain. Like folic acid, inadequate amounts of choline may also lead to neural tube defects. The recommended amount of choline is 450 milligrams per day. Some experts may recommend as much as 900 milligrams per day. Many prenatal vitamins vitamins do not contain adequate amounts of choline. In order to get this amount, you may need to consider a separate choline supplement to meet the recommended intake. You should also make sure that your prenatal vitamin contains iodine. Iodine is essential for your body to produce thyroid hormones. During the early stages of pregnancy, the fetus does not make any thyroid hormones itself, and so it is entirely dependent on the mother for thyroid hormones, which cross the placenta. A lack of thyroid hormones will affect the neurological development of the fetus. Adequate iodine intake ensures that the mother can produce enough thyroid hormone for herself and to supply the fetus. Some studies suggest that adequate iodine intake may also reduce the risk of certain pregnancy complications like miscarriage, stillbirth, preterm birth, and low birth weight. ACOG recommends 220 micrograms of iodine daily during pregnancy. DHA is an omega-3 fatty acid that is exceptionally important during pregnancy for the healthy development of the brain and eyes of a fetus. For the mother, some evidence suggests that DHA may reduce the chance for preeclampsia and postpartum depression. DHA is found in fatty fish like salmon and tuna, but these fish also tend to have a high mercury level, which pregnant women should avoid. Depending on the prenatal, DHA may be provided as a separate gel cap or incorporated into the vitamin itself. Iron is also an important part of any prenatal vitamin. Iron is necessary to produce red blood cells which carry oxygen. Pregnant mothers have a tendency to become anemic and so extra iron before and during pregnancy is needed to prevent this. Iron is crucial for the baby's brain development and for the formation of their red blood cells. In the last trimester, the baby builds up iron stores that will last for the first few months of life. The recommended amount is 27 milligrams a day during pregnancy. So I have talked about what ingredients a prenatal should have, but what ingredients should be avoided? Herbal supplements should absolutely be avoided before and during pregnancy. They serve no useful purpose and often contain contaminants like lead, mercury, and arsenic. Watch out for these terms in the ingredients. Blends such as herbal blend, proprietary, 
dietary blend, morning sickness blend, and the word support. Supplement manufacturers cannot say that they treat a problem. They see things like support a healthy pregnancy or supports digestive health. Our Infertility TV bottom line is start prenatal vitamins early and choose by the ingredients, not by the brand or by a fancy website. Infertility TV is your most trusted source for accurate information on infertility and miscarriage. If you are not a subscriber yet, hit the subscribe button right now. A new episode is released every week. Don't miss any episodes. You can also check us out on our website, ivf1.com, where you can become a patient.